me tell you about Joshua, the son of Nun, a faithful follower of God and a great follower. That's why he has become a great leader. How did it happen? Well, he succeeded Moses in the leadership of the Hebrew people. And he was the one who finished bringing, the, bringing Israel into the Promised Land. Ah yes, he was the one. Because he succeeded Moses. He was a great follower of God and a faithful follower of God. That's why he obeyed Moses, believing that Moses is chosen by God. Ah yes. That's why with Caleb, they spied uh, the land of promise, Canaan. And when they went back, the ten other spies were so disheartened. Malungkot sila, nag-aalala, nangangamba, that they cannot conquer the promised land. So sabi nila, balik na lang daw sila sa Egypt. But not Caleb and Joshua. They, they stood their ground and said, No, we can conquer it with God because God is with us. That's what they say. And actually, they were able to do that. Yes, because God proves His power and honor the faithfulness of Joshua and Caleb. And I want you to know this. Joshua, being a great leader, is also a great follower. Not only of his leader, but of God. When God told him to conquer Jericho, yes, Jericho, he was commanded to march around Jericho once a day for seven days and to march around Jericho seven times on the seventh day. And that, that, that's how they did conquer Jericho with a shout of praise, with a jubilant praise, without, without, without swords and with, with, the minimum of, with, with minimal bloodshed. They were able to do that. Yes. Why? Because Joshua believed on the promises of God. On the word of God. Joshua, a great leader, was a great follower, a faithful follower of God. Yes. How about you? Are you like Joshua, the son of Nun? Originally, hindi po Joshua ang pangalan niya. Jose, Hosea. Something like that. Hindi po Hosea. Hosea. Something. And Moses changed it to Joshua. Okay, and he, has, he, he, he is from the tribe, was from the tribe of Ephraim. Oh yeah. So let me, let me go back to you. How about you? Could, would you? could you be like Joshua? Faithful? Even to things that you do not understand? You know, conquering a city by just marching around it seven times, once, once, once a day, and then seven times on the seventh day? <laughs> would you believe that? <laughs> but God is faithful to those who believe Him. Oh yes. To those who believe Him, who believe in Him, He will prove Himself. Just like Joshua. So I encourage you to, come on, let's be like Joshua. Let's, let's be faithful to what God has said, what God has promised, what God has stated, what God has commanded. Yes? And I want you to prepare your heart, prepare your mind, Prepare yourself for God's manifestation. Oh yes, if needed, God will prove himself to you. Yes, whatever it takes, he will prove that. He will prove that he is God. Yeah, why? Because he is love. He is God and you are love. Now let me repeat that. Because he is God and you are loved by God. And he will prove himself to those who believe in him, to those whom he loves, and to those who love him. In the meantime, enjoy him. God bless you. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your day.